dear friends today we are going to learn how to find the moment generating function for binomial poisson and exponential distribution and using this moment generating function how we are going to find the mean and variance for distribution so this is our today's concern let's go into the video binomial distribution so since it is a discrete distribution i will use summation okay for moment generating function so p of x equal to x n c x p power x q power n minus x where p plus q is 1 and x varies from 0 to n so now the moment generating function m x of t since it is a discrete distribution e power t x probability of x equal to x where x varies from 0 to n okay that is nothing but expectation of e power t x okay now we are going to expand this and we are going to find the moment generating function so this is x equal to 0 to n e power t x n c x p power x q power n minus x now here this p power x and e power t x is i am going to club this e power t x how i can rewrite e power t whole power x so now p power x e power t whole power x i will club this two things together x equal to 0 to n P e power t whole power x. Now it is. So n c x q power n minus x. Done. So now it's my job to expand this. Whenever I put x equal to 1 to n, I'll be getting n c naught p e power 0 q power n. It goes on. Okay. Finally, n c n p power n q u power q power n minus n that is going to be 0. Actually what is this formula? It is simply what? a plus b whole power n because when you see the first term is q power n and when you see here the last term is p power t whole power n. So the second term is n c 1 p power t whole power 1 q power n minus 1. So it goes on. So it is very simple. It is going to be by a plus p whole power n formula. So m x of t my a is suppose I will take this as a. Okay. p power t plus b s q whole power n. Or you can even take the first one as a q e q plus p e power t whole power n whatever it is. So now this is the moment generating function for binomial distribution. So now my aim is to find the mean and variance of the binomial distribution. Okay, we know very clear what is our mean and Variance and binomial distribution we have already learned in the discrete distribution videos. So my mean is NP and my variance is NPQ. So we know it as a formula. Now we are deriving how it comes. Okay. So according to us, the relation between mu and dash and common generating functions are what? mx dash of 0, mu 2 dash is mx double dash of 0. So it is going to be simply mean is going to be mu 1 dash, variance is going to be mu 2 dash minus mu 1 dash whole square. So it is my job to, to found mu 1 and mu 2 dash. For that I need the derivative of mx of t. Okay, so mx of t is p e power t plus q whole power n. So 
whole power n. So when you differentiate this mx dash of t, so n into p power t plus whole power n minus 1. Okay. So now into this p power t differentiation is again p power t. So this is my mx dash of t guys. Okay. So now what we are going to do according to our problem mu1 dash is my mean. So mu1 dash is equal to mx dash I am going to put 0 here. Okay. So that is the formula. Now what will happen? A good thing e power 0 is 1. Okay. Let us see. So n into p plus q will come all power n minus 1 here into p and we know the classical result what it is p plus q is equal to always 1 so when I substitute here and 1 power anything is what again 1 so this term the whole term will become what 1 and I have remaining p so therefore what I say now my mean for the binomial distribution is np okay this is done so my next job is to find what variance okay to find variance i need mu2 dash okay next to find the variance i need mu2 dash okay mu2 dash is nothing but mx double dash of zero now let us find mx double dash of Okay. Here we have to apply UV rule. So I will take NP outside. Whenever I keep this P power T plus Q all power N minus 1, E power T differentiation is E power T. Then when I keep this E power T as it is, when I differentiate this term, I will be getting N minus 1 p power t plus q it will become n minus 2 now when i differentiate the data which is inside this is going to be again p power t okay now i don't want to waste my time by solving it so i just want to find mx double dash of 0 so when i put t equal to 0 this will become what p plus q that is equal to 1 Similarly, this term. So, all the e power terms are 1. So, 1 e power t, it is also going to be 1. So, 1 into 1, 1, 1 plus n minus p. Okay. All the remaining terms go 0. So, now when I multiply this inside, n p plus np whole square minus np square okay so now don't confuse this is not my variance it's simply what mu2 dash okay so my variance is going to be mu2 dash minus mu1 dash whole square okay np mu2 dash just now we found np np square minus np square this is np whole square now mu1 dash is np whole square so what will happen now this and this will get cancelled i'll take this np commonly outside i'll be getting 1 minus p we know that what 1 minus p is simply q so the target achieved we found the mean and variance using what moment generating function next we are going to find the moment generating function of poisson distribution hence we are going to find the mean and variance okay so the moment generating function mx of t is nothing but summation d power tx into the 
probability. So summation x equal to 0, it goes up to infinity e power tx e power minus lambda lambda power x by x factorial. Now you see this lambda power x, this e power tx, I can club together. e power tx can be rewritten as e power t whole power x. So summation x equal to 0 to infinity. I can write this as e power minus lambda then lambda e power t whole power x by x factorial. Now let us expand the series. Okay. So e power minus lambda lambda e power t power 0 by 0 factorial. I can take this e power minus lambda outside because it is no way connected to the problem because it, here the thing is x is varying e plus lambda e power t whole power 1 by 1 factorial 2 factorial etc. It goes up to infinity. So this is the formula we know e power x expansion 1 plus x by 1 factorial x square by 2 factorial etc. Now e power minus lambda. So here we have x instead of x here we have what lambda e power t. So I will write e power lambda e power t. This is my moment generating function for Poisson distribution. So now using this I am going to find the mean and variance. So now mx dash of t I am going to differentiate this. So d by dt of e power minus lambda e power lambda e power t okay when i differentiate with respect to t e power minus lambda is constant so e power lambda lambda e power t differentiation is lambda into e power t since it is a constant then it remains same now mx dash of 0 whenever we so whenever we put t equal to 0 e power 0 is 1 e power 0 is 1. So, this will become 1. So, lambda e power 0 is 1. This e power 0 is 1 e power lambda. So, when I multiply this, automatically e power minus lambda plus lambda cancelled. I will be getting what? My mx dash of t that is my mu 1 dash that is my mean. Hope you understand. Now similarly, we can easily calculate what? mx double dash of t. So now when you go for mx double dash of t, lambda into e power minus lambda, both are constant. Now this is my u and this is my v. I am going to apply uv rule. So I will keep e power t. Then e power lambda e power t differentiation is lambda e power t e power lambda e power t plus when we take e power lambda e power t as constant then e power t differentiation is simply e power t. So I don't want to do any simplification as I said earlier just substitute this mu 2 dash is nothing but mx double dash of 0 when you put 0 e power 0 is going to be 1 ok so lambda e power minus lambda uh, this is lambda e power lambda then e power lambda when you put t equal to 0 it simply e power lambda the other one is 1 ok now what I am going to do I am going to take this e power minus lambda and I will take this e power lambda out so I will be getting lambda plus 1. So now this and this will get cancelled this and this will get cancelled. So my many students will have again this confusion this is not my variance it is mu 2 dash 
So mu2 dash is lambda square plus lambda. Mu1 dash is lambda. So finally variance is going to be mu2 dash minus mu1 dash whole square. So mu2 dash is lambda square plus lambda. Mu1 dash again lambda square. So this will get cancelled. It gives my variance is also lambda. So now we have completed mean variance using moment generating functions of Poisson distribution. Finally, we have the moment generating function mean variance using exponential distribution. This is very very easy guys. So my f of x is lambda e power minus lambda x lambda greater than 0 x lies between x lies between 0 to infinity okay let us do the problem directly for the exponential distribution let us find the moment generating function and then we find mean and variance mx of t okay so now since this is continuous random variable i have to integrate i cannot do summation like the previous two random variables so minus infinity to infinity e power tx into f of x dx minus infinity to infinity e power tx lambda e power minus lambda x dx now lambda is constant i don't want it i'll take it out now i can club this e power okay so since whenever we see infinity immediately what you have to do we have to take something e power minus okay then it will be easy for me to solve okay i'll take this x also other side out and since my limit is 0 to infinity actually here itself we have to change it this to what 0 to infinity okay guys now the problem is almost done it's very very simple now you see 0 to infinity lambda okay we can now we integrating this lambda e power lambda minus t power x by minus lambda minus t 0 to infinity okay so lambda by lambda minus t when you put upper limit it's going to be e power minus infinity that is 0 and lower limit is 0 e power 0 is 1 so therefore my moment generating function mx of t is going to be minus into minus plus lambda minus t so this is easy okay in this function finding mean and variance is very very simple okay do you remember what is 1 by x power in differentiation minus n by x power n plus 1. So now mx dash of t is going to be lambda as constant. So minus 1 by lambda minus t whole square and when I differentiate lambda minus t I will be getting one more minus. So it is going to be lambda by lambda minus t whole square. Done now mx double dash of t when you go for double dash of t we have to differentiate this again so lambda 1 by x square formula is minus 2 lambda minus t whole cube lambda minus t whole cube lambda minus t differentiation is minus 1 so 2 lambda divided by lambda minus t whole cube okay done so now mx double dash of t is also done what you have to do finally i have to find 
mx double dash of 0 that is my mu2 dash. So when I put t equal to 0, uh, simply it will become 2 lambda by lambda cube it is going to be 2 by lambda square okay this is my mu2 what is my variance now my variance is going to be mu2 dash minus mu1 dash whole square so 2 by lambda square minus just now we found the mean v1 dash 1 by lambda whole square so now my denominator is common lambda square 2 minus 1 will become 1 so just now we proved the mean of exponential distribution is 1 by lambda and the variance is going to be 1 by lambda square that's it guys thanks for watching Subscribe and support our channel.